Hi everyone, this is Wong Kili. I'm a classical saxophonist based in New York. Today, I'm very excited to show you my best approach to a difficult and challenging passages. It's so useful that it saves so much time of practice and increased my accuracy of playing. It's called grouping or changing rhythms. So if we are working on a passages made of consecutive 16 notes, we're going to practice them with four rhythmic variations. I will show you an example of how to do this with an excerpt from the Carmen Fantasy, which I'm practicing right now. The first rhythmic variation emphasizes the first 16 notes by elongating its rhythmic value. So you're going to play as double dotted eighth note and three 30 second notes. In the second variation, you're going to emphasize the second 16 notes by elongating its rhythmic value. And in the third variation, you're going to emphasize the third 16 notes by elongating its rhythmic value. Finally, in the last fourth variation, you're going to play 416 notes as 430 second notes. So squeeze them together and play as rapidly as possible. Make sure to be able to play all these four different variations without any issues. Once you can play them without any problems, then go ahead and play as it's written. You'll be able to play the passages easily and accurately. If passages are made of triplets, then you get the three different variations. The reason why this approach works is because it magnifies and emphasizes a certain intervals that our brain is not capturing well or understanding well. So by changing the rhythm, we are basically emphasizing a certain intervals. And by practicing them in these different rhythmic variations, our brain is able to capture these intervals. So it's very important to realize that it's our brain that needs to process these intervals correctly in order to play these difficult and challenging passages. So this is my go-to exercise whenever I practice new piece or working on difficult passages. It has worked for me for many years and worked for my students as well. So I'm curious to know what you think of this exercise. So please let me know what you think in the comment and I hope to see you in the next video.